I think personal brand is super important and, and that goes for whether you're an entrepreneur or a business leader or an employee, you're looking for work, whatever it is, whatever or you're a student it doesn't matter like personal brand is just like how you present yourself online isn't it there needs to be like a, a way that you kind of position yourself or package yourself or like show who you are how do you show who you are online yeah. what do you stand for what do you like what don't you like how do you speak like all of those things that you used to think was relevant for um, a business to understand now we're looking at ourselves like these like little micro businesses yeah. What's up, Wanderers, and welcome to the Beat the Scroll podcast. This podcast is the content marketing pod, and I'm psyched. I'm with Charlotte and Dean. Hello. Yes, the Yo. best members. See how I just went straight in there? Like, there was no, like... Like, like, fl- like fluff at the start because <laughs> I've noticed like, last, the, the, one of the last ones that I did Tom was like you know that you in- introduced me the exact same way last time and I was just like <laughs> why so I'm going to stop doing like an in- so I just thought like did that go alright? <laughs> yeah it did I think it went alright I think it went really really well I mean what a way to start a podcast by saying did that go alright that intro that intro go really well were you impressed with your introduction yes Clover thank you <laughs> 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 club well done <laughs> Please comment on this podcast if you how you thought the intro went. 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Just let us know in the comments below, please. <laughs> and remember to subscribe. <laughs> All right, no, I, I don't need to do that bit. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I just, I always feel like I never know what to say. So I thought I'd just get it out of the way. No, I like um, this. Nice, right. smooth. You're in. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, so we thought, right, we were talking about this and we thought that we would um, chat about personal brand and then we were like what what are our five rules for yeah. personal brand and I'm excited about it yeah I'm Same excited because well. we do talk about personal brand quite a lot when we work with a lot of clients yeah. and just because well, their personal brand why it's so important for and it is one of those things where we if hopefully this episode can give you some advice today it shows you why it's important for what you need to be doing in order to grow it yeah, yeah. it's like a it's like a trend it's like a yes Dean that's a good point um it's like a trend in um like phrase isn't it personal mm, brand yeah. I feel like it came out of nowhere and all of a sudden it's like it's just it's what people talk about all the time like I think we we did it really we've always done it <clears throat> since Wanda started but I feel like it's definitely become like more of a buzzword yeah over like the past couple of years yeah yeah I like that at Wanda you give us a chance like all of the team members to have their personal brand like on yeah. LinkedIn. Yeah, it is good. I think I think it's like you say it, it's, it's brand identity brand. It's, it's so important. I, I think that can go nicely into our probably our first tip really how we can go hand in hand with the brand of your company and why it's important for. I mean, let's be honest with us. Everyone knows who we are. We don't even have to meet these people, and they know who we are. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've been to events and like, oh, how are you doing? You're right. Don't know who you are. No idea. Do you know what? It's funny. It, it, it's so true as well. Like we get told that a lot, and people when I meet them, they'll reference like different team members and yeah. now because of TikTok they all they all know what you <laughs> yeah. like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like didn't didn't Cleese and um, Poppy say the weekend that they got recognised exactly on TikTok but it is all like oh, where was that the other day I've got his actually I was, at, I, was at, I was at a Newcastle game and someone actually asked us like, oh how are you doing one of the films on these <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> I get that on LinkedIn though, because you get like so many people connecting yeah. mm. um, at networking events as well. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, like follow you on, on LinkedIn. Like we had it connected. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you, yeah. and if you're lucky, you become the face of networking events, don't you, Charlotte? Like, no. we did, like yeah. we did. the husband and wife of Wonder. How, what? How did Crazy that? that? What happened? So it was, we're at um, Teesside Hospice, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And we've got a massive group, four of us all, because <laughs> we, we got an award. <laughs> yeah, we were right at the front, like little husband and wife. And then I think it was Lou, was it? Oh, it was Jo. Oh. She'd gone to an event and they like cropped that massive photo down to just me and Dean at the front, like... <laughs> Smiling <laughs> all hole in the wall, because yeah, yeah. To be fair though, we were the best looking there. <laughs> and I stand by yeah. that. That's <laughs> like now they're like Proper rolling smiley. pop-up banners. Yeah, it's amazing. It just your faces. But again, yeah. there you go. Personal brand that look that though, because we're that well known and we look yeah. the happiest there and we yeah. were going to be there. We did. Bam. Yeah. Hand in hand. Yeah. I was funny, it's just me with the award. Like. I know, it was such a funny photo. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I laugh for a good 10 minutes after. Like, what, what's yeah. going on? In fact, Play me and Clover at another event when that photo got sent to us and we we're going, what's going on here? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's brilliant. So funny. It's <laughs> nice to, it, it is, it, it is nice. I think personal personal brand um is super important and and that goes for whether you're like uh you you're an entrepreneur or a business leader or um an employee or you're looking you're looking for work whatever it is whatever 
or if you're a student it doesn't matter like personal brand is just like how you present yourself online isn't it so yeah. like I guess the, the the birth of social media and like or it, the, not even the birth of it but the explosion of it like the the intensity yeah. um as that's ramped up online of, of you having to be on there there needs to be like a, a, a way that you kind of I don't know like position yourself or package yourself or like um show who you are how do you show who you are online yeah. what do you stand for what what what's what do you like what don't you like how do you speak like all of those things that you used to think was relevant for um a business to understand now we're looking at ourselves like these like little micro businesses yeah. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. it's nuts yeah i like how you do it though because you're like on linkedin like obviously everyone knows you as Clover is CEO of Wanda, but then you, you've also started to shift into uh, like talking about who who you really are and like you know like with ADHD and like being queer and I was really scared. Yeah, like yeah. that was a big like big thing to do, proper it, brave it, to it, do. It, it. it is massive, though. but it's quite a scary thing yeah, to is. open up like that. But I think it shows how genuine you are. People really get to know you, and uh, yeah, I think it's a really good way of doing it. No, I I, I appreciate that. I think. You, yeah, you were there through a lot of the panic and fear yeah. <laughs> prior, prior to that. But it is like, I think, yeah, it, it's, it, it, it's that human element, isn't it? That, that, um, and I guess like that would be our first rule, right? That, um, being authentically you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because people know when you're being fake. People will know that. From oh the yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. You can feel, you can feel it. You, like even if it's over the internet, you still, you can still, f you get like a, I don't know how you do it, but there's a mm. feeling that you get from something if it feels insincere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 100%. And I think it's really good as well to, for people to know that it's not that easy to set up a business no. or, or anything like that. So to show people like the struggles that you've been through and like yeah. showing how you've got to where you are now, people really relate to it and, and trust what you say. It's putting yourself out there as well, though, because it might be funny. Like, I would be the same as you. Like, I can go and do a post. I'm saying I'm dyslexic. And I, that's the one thing. Um, I get worried because I don't want people going to say, oh, my God, well, attack them. You know what I mean? Because you do, you get weird. That's you know what I mean. Yeah. It is one of those things when you personally mention it, something you may have. It, like, people could, like, look at that and go, like, well, let's attack them for it. You know what I mean? But... Am I yeah? Because you've literally gone out there, you've put your name out there, and you've done everything you need to do, no, I, and people respond so well to it. It's great. I appreciate that. I, I think um, it, it's it. There's a really good point on on the um dys, dyslexia thing because because so I was quoted as um being uh, a queer ADHD dyslexic business leader, <laughs> and I just had like I think I had like a little a, a little panicky meltdown about it. Like I've always ran ran away from labels yeah. and like I rebelled against them so yeah. to it was a real struggle to to kind of mentally realize and understand that some people need you to accept um some parts of you and and to understand how people might label you so that they can relate to it yeah because yeah. it's weird like when we were growing up you didn't have labels did you like it wasn't yeah it wasn't a big big thing but now I think it is yeah. and people want to know what you stand for what your label is so yeah they, want, they can they want a label don't they yeah yeah. yeah. yeah again when, like going back to, like people who are rising through the industry starting their career now they'll see posts like that and my god you're the same as me I feel less scared now put yeah. myself out there yeah because I might be funny it's don't it, it, people don't want to tell them the, tell like employees like the full nine yards of what you like but I think seeing a business owner do that you're more relatable to that person yeah. or, or, or not I, I pre yeah I appreciate that but I think that um, it's not it doesn't have to be a business owner like I think it, it, like we've literally just said yeah. how um, how you two um, who who are like leaders within Wonder as well yeah. I, like are seen and perceived in the outside world as like people look up to you mm -hmm. and want to meet you and want to listen to you and yeah. are interested so it's not like it's not about just about yeah. me yeah. like I, I think like it's it's important within wonder that everybody has a voice and, and everybody who feels comfortable can can share those things because one of the most special things about what we've done here at wonder is uh is uh, like empowering uniqueness yeah, yeah. and yeah. and uh accepting of the real 
people we are and, and and I think that that's that's really special so if people feel comfortable within Wonder and we can help them share those stories like, yeah definitely which I, which I think they do because I mean, you see a lot of our posts all the time you see a lot of it like, people just open up all of us do no. would you yeah. do it so would you talk about it I probably would yeah I think for me I, I think the past I've just not done it because I think like you know what I mean I just don't want people thinking well that I'm incapable of doing my job because of my, one of my disabilities you know what I mean but the thing is, though, modern technology now, I don't need to be mm. labelled that now. I, just need, I can still deliver. You yeah. know what I mean? Just don't judge up a bite to cover to what I would say. I did a post about it. I, I don't know if you... I don't know if you remember. It was probably a couple of months ago, about maybe about a year ago. And I did a post about it. Um, <clears throat> and it just went absolutely off it. I think it was about um, being dyslexic and, and also about um, how uh, grammar isn't... <laughs> I'm going to get so much hurt. That how how uh, being you be, having your perfect grammar and spelling isn't as important as people think it is. I remember you doing that. Yes. And yeah. it just honestly, the, the there was there was lots of positivity on it as well. Yeah. But the hate on there for, for oh, was a lot of hate. Oh my days! Really? Yeah, it was like yeah. proper debate central. Yeah. But I, but I stand I, I stand by it. Because I, and and I think like you you write copy every day yeah like and you're really good at it thank you so you you should feel confident in in saying that and saying like look there's these parts of myself but these are the tools that yeah. i use and this is how like i've managed to have a career in something that i i love and but um i found this bit a challenge and yeah. if anybody else feels like that like you can do it still yeah. mm. i probably will actually i think it'll help a lot of people but i agree though the, the people who give you I, I agree with you as well i think for me nowadays well look how me and you interpret information me and you work better from bullet points <laughs> yeah. we do not work yeah. from paragraphs Short and blunt. yeah yeah we we do not work from <laughs> paragraphs because i look at i go my god 100 i'm yeah. not here to read a novel i'm here to, I'm here to, yeah. I'm here to read Joe, that's for you <laughs> yeah, that is for you Joe. we all love you but my god stop writing paragraphs <laughs> Bullet point, bullet point. This is how I forget about things all the time with Joe, you know. And she says to me, oh, we're going to this event. And I get like a paragraph. I, guess, I know, this? it's like... But you'll get a paragraph and it's got like, it's got bits of what you need to know, but then also what what her daughter had for tea last week. It is, <laughs> yeah. it is. It is. <laughs> it is. Scrambled it is egg well, of words. Well, my pearl, mm, oh, pearl, she had, she had a lovely scrambled egg sandwich. <laughs> and, and just yeah. smack, honestly, but yeah, I like how, that's how I work. I interpret information from my bullet points. That's how I work. Yeah. yeah. Just because I think it's easier to digest for me. But just, it's, it's different strengths, but I think, yeah, I agree. Putting yourself out there helps others as well. Yeah, I think it's scary too. Like I've always wanted to grow my personal brand and like I'm obviously an advocate for mental health and yeah. I would yeah. love to put my personal brand out there with like my experiences, but that's me having to be really open. I think it's, it's quite, quite a scary thing to do. Oh, it is. Um, so, but yeah, I think it's something that I definitely need to do because I follow quite a lot of people on LinkedIn, some clients as well, mm -hmm. who really push um for like a mental health awareness and I love reading their stuff and it's it's cool that they're sharing their stories. It's, it's so, so important, especially in this modern yeah. day. Like this was the beautiful way we work. We have those opportunities to like like say if we need days like that, mm. we can have days like that. Yeah, mental health days, yeah. yeah. And it's so important now, if that's with personal brand, a lot of people do come forward now because I, I think it's because for so long, I think even before COVID, people weren't really talking about it enough. Oh, I mean, no. true, true. I think I think yeah, I think COVID really did um uh, shine a light on, on how because you because you were left alone with your yeah. thoughts yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what else so were you okay. going to do but think and yeah. it was like yeah. oh and the only time you could really think is when you had your one walk a day yeah. Yeah. and you could what was it like 30 minutes you could be out or an hour it? I became a shop holic me that's how bad it got for me oh see I didn't I didn't, I didn't. Uh, we always end up talking about like what we did in <laughs> yeah. COVID, don't we? So, but yeah uh, personal brand like mm. the 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 First rule of personal brand is being authentically you. Yeah, and there's, there's 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 a there's a a degree of comfortableness with that. Um, however, I would always say that um, you don't grow unless you feel uncomfortable by what you're doing. Yeah, I agree. It's like oh, when yeah. you go to the gym, right? And if you if 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 you know that you're bashing that out, that's really easy. You get to 12 reps, and and it doesn't feel like you, it's not going to be doing any good, right? You, yeah, you're not making your body uncomfortable yep. uh, and, and making it like work hard to get through that yep. thing so I think a little bit of uncomfortableness oh, yeah, is, is a good thing so. yeah it is yeah. always push yourself yeah definitely like, even if you think you can't do it just do it because you can No, nothing's impossible yeah it's not like for me this is going off topic a little bit with comfort zones but um, back in like I don't know when was it 2013 when I applied for the ships mm -hmm. like 
to me, I was a hornbird, so I was always going to grow up in Eagles Cliff and like stay there and stuff. But when I applied for ships and got, got my job on there, it was like I had to go to an airport on my own, yeah. like fly to, I don't know, it was Montreal, I think, get there, not know anyone, like get straight to a hotel, meet these people on the ships. Not even, I hadn't even boarded a ship before. Literally didn't know anyone. Like it was the scariest time of my life. But after I'd done it, it just felt like, yeah. you know, the world was my oyster. Like I could do anything. Yeah. Pro- but the night before I had like proper meltdown I even when I got so there much. it's so scary you, 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 in fact you the, it was only the other week that um you booked uh, yeah. like uh, a solo trip as well I just like yeah, I just to I, Poland I love that so much yeah. it was so it was so good like especially it, for a woman as well yeah I'm just gonna throw own. that out there yeah like, it's it's really bold to do that oh, thank you it was it was good fun though like obviously I'm used to traveling on my own with with past work I've done but to be in to travel on my own and then be somewhere on my own for like four days it was quite scary but I you know I booked a Airbnb that I felt comfortable in and I think the only thing I was mainly scared about was going into a restaurant and sitting on my own having a glass of wine and reading my book because I thought people are just going to judge me and the worst thing happened on the worst night when I went to a restaurant and there was a Polish family beside me and they were just staring at me because I don't know it must be an odd thing to sit on your own but I was there with a glass of wine and my pasta and just sat there reading my book and they were literally just staring at me and obviously talking about me in Polish and I thought you know what that's the worst thing that could happen so now now that's done I'm, I'm totally fine that's what I'm saying that's why, that's why you've got to push yourself because literally what is the worst thing that can happen yeah you might fail once but then you can come back and be stronger do you know what that's so interesting though isn't it that the one thing that you were the one the one thing that made you more scared than anything was not anything that could have happened to you in that time mm. it was the fact that someone might have judged you for being alone yeah so weird isn't what? It? like how mad is, is yeah. it like are our minds that that would be your biggest fear is what how somebody else thinks of you yeah it's so weird, that's, that's, weird that's, 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 that's what it is though it's us versus us really because we are all we're doing is constantly overthinking what other people are thinking yeah like Let's be honest, but who cares what they think? Just crack on. Oh, I'm such an overthinker. Oh, oh, oh. Analyse every, yeah, everything everybody same. says to me. Yeah. And it just like, it loops in my brain. It goes yeah. over and over again until I'm like, all right, I'm going to have to say something. Because if I don't, like, yeah. it's just going to eat me up. Yeah, I think all three of us are quite the same. Chronic overthinker. Chronic for all we are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the worst for it one This is why I don't like working from home on Slack for, because I literally won't send this. <laughs> You've got a full stop. He's like, why are you in a mood with me? <laughs> I, I'm going to meltdown. You know what I mean? Just one word, yes. Oh, <laughs> was that yes? Mate? You're the worst for it, though. I'm like, Dean, how are you doing? All right, full stop. And I'm like, you What's are. Wrong you, with it? Yeah, I know, I know, are. I know, I am. I don't mean to be because literally, it's me writing fast. Yeah, because yeah. I, I write how I talk in, in blunt bullet points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And people ban and like, oh, oh, who was it the other day? I think it was Caitlin. I guess are you all right with me? I only said yes. <laughs> I said yes to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's always there's always other other things, isn't there? There's there's other things that affect um, you and how you may respond to somebody mm-hmm. or how you react to yeah. a situation. So like it's 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 never usually like just that thing that's happened. Yeah. It's it can be so many different things yeah. that have affected that moment, and that's just kind of how it, how it came out at that point. Yeah. But I think if you if you're like that yourself you kind of you, you maybe a little bit more understanding of somebody else yeah, yeah. Said, yeah. who is like that yeah yeah I think that's why we because I, 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 that's why I tend to phone you to now I, 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 I just cut the middle man out of slack I'm just yeah. looking phone phone them easier it'll calm me yeah. down calm me down <laughs> yeah because I, I, honestly I, I, I do love slack right because it's, it's one of our biggest parts of what we use here yeah. but like honestly like some days you know what like I'm honestly just one finger to score What's that, what does that mean? What, yeah. What, 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 Depends how sensitive you're feeling yeah. on that day. What does that emoji yeah. mean? Is that a yes or a yeah. no? <laughs> I'm, I don't understand. Um, yeah. If but if I know I've done that to you now, I'm like, yeah, I meant, I didn't mean that like horribly. Yeah. I'm just diving quick. I, yeah, just, I yeah. just think, I think, like I say, text, I think sometimes with, with like Slack, a lot of things can get misunderstood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it definitely. Uh, and it, it's it's a really it's a it's a re- it's really good for for um for communication it's like um so anyone that doesn't know what slack is it's like uh, if you've ever used discord it is discord but for business and, and agencies yeah. really so there's different channels where you talk about different things and it's an, an internal uh comms platform mm-hmm. if you like um and it, it and it's brilliant and and it, it we implemented it 
like a couple of years ago just right? after covid no? yeah no just before covid so that we could yeah yeah because sort of, yeah. yeah. i was here when i first joined because i joined literally after yeah. the first lockdown what was yeah. it that's mad three years in october august mate three years three years in august <laughs> Three years. You're four years in October. I know. It's four years. It's wow. gone quick, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. A lot's yeah. happened as well, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. We'd like, we'd like a night the table, Doma. Like a night around table for the OGs. I'm telling, <laughs> yeah. you, I'm telling you an OG now, just in. Are you though? I am. I am. I am. <laughs> That's his label. I literally am. OG of Wonder. You got to be aware, when I joined, I was there in the mix you 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 yeah. I would say like I would say you're an OG thank you yeah so, like you were there like at the the, the cusp of acceleration yeah. weren't you like yeah, then, it no, was you guys joined you and Heather yeah, and then right. it was like boom yeah then, then I blinked and I turned 30 can you remember when I used to call you Peter Parker I was like you're gonna have to employ Peter Parker Just and then he came wore, in I was like sorry I, definitely I, John I, I, wore, I wore glasses in me, in me, in me vid didn't I <laughs> yeah oh, you did yeah, yeah with the leather jacket that's why I didn't wear leather jacket how do you remember that Get that yeah, I, now, remember I, him coming in. I had a black t-shirt and a pair of glasses on but you came in with a leather jacket I and glasses and I was like oh it's Peter Parker I had a denim jacket on and oh, I've, never, I've never owned Oh, was it black though? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's how it I've never on. owned a leather jacket. Black during right. interview as well, completely, just saying. I did do Facebook ads. I did see Facebook ads. Cut that. Yeah, no. I didn't say that. So. <laughs> he did. Definitely did. <laughs> I know it just it was it's like confident it was good because we because we, we we liked you but yeah. I think there's always a little bit of that in interviews isn't oh, there you yeah. still hold the best bits yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm still here for it years. worked still here for years still here for years <laughs> no you are you're still here yes yeah absolutely top of your game thank um, you yeah, you always learn the job, right? You always learn the job. So you always <laughs> you learn, learn from the job. me, don't you? Do? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I didn't learn from you. The, th- the, the thing <laughs> is, as well, about our industry is that it just moves so fast that, like, something that something that you've learned last year will be different next year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, and I think as well, like, you've seen how much we've all developed. To, like, like you look at where you started, look where I've started. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I was com- like, we're completely different directions where we started. Yeah, I was like digital marketer when I started. Now I'm. Project manager. Project manager, yeah. That's good though. Uh, you, head you of d- head of project <laughs> management. <laughs> that's good though. What we've done, we've developed and like learned new skills and then gone into the roles. Yeah, you know what I mean that's that's good. Found what it's found the bit that you really like and yeah. then sort of followed that path, which exactly. is which is nice. That's yeah. what we're all doing. Yeah, we're all I, our way. I think we've we've gone off. I was just going to say, how, how's this podcast how about? Long, how far are we in? I would say a good ten minutes. <laughs> what well, I will say is, and put this in the board now. We should start a podcast of three of us where we just chat like this. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> just start so I was just, just looking chance. at the list I got f- from Forbes about having a personal brand, <laughs> and it's have focus. And we've just totally gone off the point here. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so the second the second rule, yeah. Uh, I would say um, would be uh, understanding your niche. Yep. So yeah. like, what, okay. which is which is what you're saying there about focus. I yeah. think uh, it's like, what is your what's your area? What's the thing that you talk about? What's what's that thing that um, the, that you that you have experience in that that you have expertise in? Yep. Like, what's what's that bit? What is your niche? And you'll find that whether that's on tiktok or linkedin or yeah. like uh, instagram there's always like that area that that, that person has and they talk about 100 mm. everyone does it look at bartlett he's a prime example like he, the things he goes about you know who he is and what he's about because he's so open right? yeah and the way he presents himself it's, yeah it's, it's it's you know who exactly who he is in the brand i nice. think he he's an interesting example because i think he he moved he is his niche was uh like uh i guess social media entrepreneur yeah yeah Yeah. and that was so like the entrepreneur journey and then like social media those two things because that was his business and but now i think his his niche is is more um like uh, i don't know like like personal stories like yeah, yeah like, I think he's, like he's very he's very much mindset like a, like yeah. a, like a, he become a bit like a journalist hasn't he you know what I mean like a bit like sort of like Ali he gets to know people on a personal level yeah like some of the interviews he does is like I love the one with um, Gary Neville like the things you learn about and it's I'm a massive uh, people know me from my personal brand and my niche is like a lot of football oriented stuff yeah. but like like getting to, you get to know people he's not about just about football about personal life he just gets to know you it's like how we, it's like how we rattled on there for like 20 minutes yeah. it's because yeah. we know each other now we're so comfortable around <laughs> yeah. each other we just open up and just chat it's good that he can do that yeah. with someone that fast that's nice yeah yeah. He, he, he's, he's, he is great um, this, I, I think you see it uh, a, a lot I, I suppose TikTok is an example of, of, of um, finding your niche yeah. would be that 
um, the algorithm show you the things that you're interested mm. in. So if you're, um, say your niche is, uh, I don't know, talking about digital work. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the video I showed you. <laughs> showed you, because that's obviously my <laughs> algorithm. Yeah, well, that's what Mine, Sarah Lancashire. <laughs> yeah, because you showed me it. And I was like, Charlotte, how has that just popped up on your face? Like, come on. Oh, <laughs> what have you it. been watching? <laughs> Sarah Lancashire. It is interesting, though. If you look at each other's TikToks, right, like how, like, come different, like, mine's all, like, food related. And, like, is yeah. it? Yeah, because I like this guy who's in Canada. Well, you know his niche. So his basic. Oh, yeah, that guy is good. His niche is basically his personal personal brand his niche what it all is is he lives in a cabin in Canada with two dogs and he just makes food and watches videotapes <laughs> but it's so calming like he it's sends me some so videos chill. so calming I, I, is that like you watch it and you feel like yes uh, before I go to sleep at night I just watch five videos of his it's relaxing because right. he goes hello why hello there buddy and he's, and he's, yeah, he's, he's goes, yes, I guess so how about well. some tacos while I watch well, Home Alone well, on the videotape yeah have a nice day buddy that's it and that's his niche yeah that's his I niche that. and see mine's completely different like I have my my quote ones come up but then mine's just true crime so uh, like every night before bed I'm learning about like yours is 100% all these murders thirst traps yeah. I mean <laughs> the other side the other side of my TikTok is <laughs> <laughs> but there is true crime as well I watched a really good one the other day uh, it, some because some, I, I get like a lot of like comedy stuff come up and there was this one this girl who was doing an impression of a lesbian thirst trap <laughs> Oh, I love ones like that. It's so, so good. Oh, they sorry. do it so well, don't they? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway, yeah. Anyway. Uh, We're still at one point, though. It's still a niche. You know what I mean? No, but it is. Yeah. Been thirst traps, definitely a niche. I mean, it is a niche. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it works for you every time. Because <laughs> even I know what you mean. Because I've, I've seen it as well on her, on your reels and that. <laughs> yeah. Funny. But it, it is, an, or if it's on LinkedIn, there's so many... There's so many people talking about um, uh, being like a, a ghostwriter, copywriting and stuff like that. That's really big on there at the minute. Mental health, people yeah. talking about that. We've discussed that already. Like that's a really strong niche. Like it could be that it's it's not like a personal thing, but uh, like a, a focused business thing. It mm. might be like uh, editing like yeah. editing is your, yeah. is, is your niche and that's what you talk about. I guess like a lot of that comes down to... Um, entertainment or value within that area yeah, and, and building up like an audience that is interested in what you have to say mm. so finding finding your tribe online is like really important yeah it's basically a bit like a bit like a um, it's a bit like a brand persona is it? if you take think like, like a branch like what will it, what was your niche where you're going to fit in this branch yeah type of thing yeah. and then go from there like what's your interest and stuff like that because yeah. I, th I think for me, what my LinkedIn is quite full of. Because I, I love clever marketing, so I like I love like seeing like yeah, like, like I share a lot of that stuff. Like I love like the McDonald's ads I do in America and like KFC how did the whole got a war thing. I thought was fantastic, and that to me really I love that. Me I love going. My first hour of the day, I just scan for social media because yeah. I love looking at stuff to see if I get yeah. some my inspiration, and I love it because I think that's so good though. Like that's really good practice. Mm. It is, and that's how I get a lot of my ideas because I just love looking at how have they done it. Yeah. How can I how can I take that as an essence? I've I've noticed like ones that you're sending me now, like graphics, you're, you can tell that you've been looking through social media because yeah. you've been way more creative with, with those. Well, I've got to be though, because I think a big part of my role now, and again, it's something I was very nervous about doing it. Again, going back to like pushing yourself, like I was nervous about doing graphics. I think we all knew that like round here when before I started doing that, I was dead nervous. But no, I did. I just did it. I thought, mm. now I was like, what is the worst that's going to happen? They're going to tell you to change this, this and this. That's good feedback. That's how you learn and adapt. 100%, yeah. But Actually, yeah. that could come into another one of our five. Is it, um, don't be afraid to fail? Yep. Good. Well, nice See the link nice there. segue yeah. there, Sean. Yeah. Keep, us on, the, keep us on the straight smooth. path. <laughs> that was brilliant. Thank that you. was really good. <laughs> yeah, and, and it is, it is that like... Uh, not being afraid to um, to fail, and I think that that's like um, across. Like we, we say that we say that a lot in in, in life anyway, don't yeah. we? Yeah. I mean, I, I've I've talked about before the um, like when you when you the the kung fu masters, right? Yeah. Oh, anyone training in kung fu, yeah. Fucking punching that yeah. tree, yeah. and ju they just they they go at it or that wood or whatever it is hard or kicking or whatever it is, and they just go for it and keep going. And what happens is it it creates like little micro fractures in their bones, and those are, it, from from them repeating yeah. that yeah. same thing over and over again. And then those bones, those little micro fractures, heal and they heal stronger than they were oh, before. That's cool. yeah. So so their bones and their hands and their everything is is so much stronger by 
breaking and failing over and over again until they're like freaking rocks and machines yeah. and they can mm. boss anything but if they hadn't gone through that adversity and that challenge and that failure they wouldn't have got to that strength at the end yeah. well, it's, it's, it's a fact like you've got to do these kind of things there's no, sac- there's, no there's no victory of sacrifice really yeah. you've got to go for it you've just got anything you do in life you've got to go for it yeah. I think the biggest I think the, I think the biggest thing with people nowadays is it's, it's, it's a constant fear of failure but you can't succeed without failure that makes sense. You've got to go for it. Like, mm. I didn't, like, f- three years ago at this day, right, I didn't know where I was going to go. I, I was really wanting to, I really, honestly, I had a, such a passion for digital marketing and I really wanted to get into it. But I didn't know you were going to say yes to us. You just took a chance. And ever since then, I've been allowed to grow and develop my skills. Yeah. You know what I mean? Imagine if you said no to that. And that where would I be now? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, because that's, it's ballsy, right? Going for what you really want. Yeah. It, it, like, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of courage to do that. You yeah. have to, you've just got to put yourself out there and just go, yeah, this is who I am. This is what I can do. Yes, I'm not there, but I want to be there. 100%. Let's go for it. I think for me, like, one of my biggest fears in life is, like, failing and making mistakes. Like, yeah. it's one big thing that I fear. But I think here as well, it's sort of, you, you give us this, like, safety net of, like, you can fail. Um, but as long as you learn from it and you grow from it which we've each been able to do so you know yeah like we, we make mistakes but it's, it's as long as you support it, it. yeah, 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 yeah got, owning yeah. it because I think, I think for me is the biggest thing about own, if you've got to open it, just do it. If it as soon as you open to it the faster you can resolve it because there's mm. nothing worse than going like for like hours like who's on this you know what I mean just <laughs> open it then it can yeah. be fixed faster you know what I mean it is. It is. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's just, <laughs> just let me ban done uh, done it takes 10 minutes to fix done bish bosh Oh, <laughs> you got push in. I think that's probably a good a good point. And um, I think what we should do is do um part one, part two. So yeah. we should that's a really nice place to, to end and yep. then we'll come back and smash out the remaining two. We've done two, three, yeah, we yeah. have done yeah. three, yeah, nice. remaining two. So we'll mm. we'll yeah. Should we'll we do be that? back. Yeah. We should never we'll, say that. We'll like, I'll be back. We'll, we'll be back, yeah. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll be we'll back. What's that in the horror films in Scream? It's like number one rule, never say, I'll be back. What is it? I don't know, man. You know when he's... Oh, I can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. Scream? Yeah, Scream. The number, like one of the number one rules don't is don't away. say, I'll be back because you're never back. <laughs> yeah, <of> course. <laughs> We will but be back. We will be back. We're not going to get killed and by a man in a mask. <laughs> like, what's going on? That's out now. So when you come back for part two, you're going to get more of this. Just also waffling yeah. on. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's it's good. Yeah, come back for part two. Yeah, I'm excited for the last two. Yeah. I think they're very important as well. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess on that note, you can, uh, if you like this and you want to <laughs> tell me how the opening was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, hit the bell button, click subscribe, follow us. You can find us on um, Beat Score Podcast or you can find Wonder Films on our social channels. And I guess uh, I'm looking forward to the next one and there's nothing left to say, but I'll see you then. Peace. Bye. Guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.